Store Manager for WooCommerce allows you to add and update products through a flexible import tool. In this video, I will show you some of the most useful options. I suggest that you download Store Manager for WooCommerce by the link in the description and follow the steps with me. Also, feel free to write your questions in the comments, I'll try to answer all of them. Let's begin with checking the data we're going to upload. I prepared a sample file in the CSV format with the following columns. SKU, Title, Regular Price, Stock, Category, Featured Images, Product Image Gallery. In case your file looks different and you're unsure if it fits, send it to me and I'll check it for you. Here I have my test store that is empty so far. No products yet. Also here is my admin panel. Same is true here. No products yet. To launch the import tool, click the button on the toolbar of the product list. On step one, specify where your file is stored. Whether it is a local folder, link, FTP, or Google Sheets. I have my file on the desktop, so I choose this option and locate the file on my computer. On step two, you should specify the delimiters that separate fields data in your file. This is for the store manager to read your CSV correctly. In most cases, these are commas or semicolons. Also, if values in your file are enclosed in quotes, specify them here too. With correct delimiters, the data on the preview will look as a table with columns. With wrong delimiters, the data is messed up here. No tables or columns. Text looks like a string, not a table. I'll switch back to the correct delimiter. If the first row in your CSV contains field names, leave the checkbox selected. Otherwise, uncheck the option and you'll be able to map columns on the next step. Let's proceed to it now. In step three, you should first of all specify a field that will be used to identify products during import. Usually, it's a SKU field which holds a model or unique part number of a product. For products to be identified and updated correctly, SKU must be unique. Now let's check fields mapping. If column names in the file are similar to those used in WooCommerce, the store manager will try to map them automatically. These fields will be black and matching columns will be set next to them. Let's click the SKU field on the left. The column was assigned automatically so it is highlighted in the right pane. Let's map one field manually. Just click the field on the left and find the appropriate column in the dropdown. Here is how you do it. One more column is set. Be sure to assign required fields. If some of them are not linked, you will see a notification trying to proceed. Another option that is not mandatory but very useful is a possibility to update data with rules or SQL expressions. Like, you can increase the price by 20% or add your brand to the product name. If you have some specific updates to be made through import, describe your task in the comments below and I'll do my best to assist you. Now when all fields are set, let's move forward to the final step. Here you can see four import methods, and here is a brief overview of each of them. The Just Add option is used to import new products, because checking for existing products is skipped there. Import goes much faster, especially for large files with millions of items. If you have a large file, ask the support team for assistance. They will provide you with some other tips to speed up the process. The modify only option will work for updating existing products. It means that new products from the file will be ignored during import. This option is often used for large files as well. The only add option is used to create new products with all required data like descriptions, images, categories, and others. The add and modify method performs best for small files that don't need optimization and can be imported as is. If you expand the advanced options section, you will find their settings to configure the import of media files, cross cells, product attributes, and restrict the volume of imported data. If all settings are correct, hit Import Preview. 
if you see any errors or warnings on the import preview step, go back and try to change the settings. Otherwise, proceed with import. After the import is complete, you will see results and errors if any occurred. My file is not big, so it was uploaded immediately and I can see my newly imported products in the Store Manager application. Now let's go and check them in the admin panel. Here they are. And finally, let's view our products on the front end. Here it goes, live and ready to go. Hope this video was helpful and you could proceed with importing your own file with me. Again, if you need more details or advice on your particular case, add your comments below and I will gladly answer them or contact eMagic1Support for assistance.